this, we could just fly him out to the ocean and drop him in the middle of the water. No, because that shit always seems to fucking float back to shore. I'm not taking chances. Do you live with yourself doing that? No, I don't. I honestly fucking don't. But I'm so sick of this shit. I'm fucking over it. I had a lot of time to think about this. I went out and had this fucking custom gun made. Um, and I can't wait to fucking smear his fucking brain tissue over a wall. Uh, so, you do, you have heard of ballistics testing, right? Who do you think you're talking to, JJ? I'm just, you want, you spent all that money on a custom rifle, you're going to use for one thing and have to toss it. Well, don't concern yourself with the I situation then, I guess. The other option that we have, bitches, is that I get a hold of fucking Dan and you guys have a fucking face-to-face -face conversation this morning. Yeah, I'll, I'd rather do that. I don't want you to have to deal with this. This is my shit. Get in the house, please. I mean, I, as I said, I want him dead, but... JJ, go with her. Please, I appreciate it. Okay. I'm gonna call him. Look, just... I'd rather him s freaking waste his time away in jail instead of being killed and getting rid of it instantly. I don't want to pay taxes for that fucking asshole to fucking have three meals a day, television, radio, headphones, anything. Fuck that. I'm fucking done. Yeah, a lot. Um, I can walk around though. She's a hairline fracture. Mm, looks painful. It was quite. It's not fun having a tractor run over your leg. Yeah, try not to be stupid. Pretty sure I told you girls to be inside the uh, fucking building, not sitting on the goddamn porch. So Dan's on his way. So we have to do this right. I know we can trust him. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not usually this worked up about shit, but I am so fucking annoyed. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, I think she's definitely riding the red pony. Yeah, I... <laughs> I think she's a little uh, a little strung out right now with everything going on between the legal shit, the farm uh, you I just don't want her to have to go through with that, Like it seems like a whole lot of hassle just hey. let yeah. law enforcement hey, deal with it going? Before I even begin having this conversation in any capacity, I need you to make a fucking vow with your life that what I tell you, you will take very seriously and you will be totally like abstract in thought and not just rush to the judgment of the law in regards to what you're about to hear. Right, so what's going on? You Come know, with me. I've, I've always been there and be able to help you. I know. That's why I called you. Come on. I get the door for you. Go ahead and hop in. Right. All right, Dan. You remember JJ? Hey. Uh, briefly. I think we've met once or twice. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Can you come out? Yeah. Now, I want you to hear me, okay? What you say matters here, and I need you to be completely honest with him, because if you fuck him over, you fuck us over, okay? I would never lie to him. I know. I just wanted to preface that. Let's go. Dan, do you remember Aaron Gonzalez? I do. This is Aaron? Hey. She was... 
Go ahead. I cut my hair. You don't okay. remember me? It's like you've seen a ghost. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been hearing some rumors. I've been out on vacation, so I haven't been able to... I mean, I've always, always heard of a few things. I haven't actually been able to get any word on anything that's going on. Yeah, um, it's super complicated, and that's why I wanted to... You know, we wanted to talk to you about it. Because... It's basically a, if I go to police, it's a bad thing kind of situation. Alright, so what's going on? Okay, so, you know my, okay, so if you've heard, my house did catch up on fire, and basically they pronounced me dead. Alright. Um, that obviously wasn't me, uh... What had happened is I was kidnapped by my father, who came out of nowhere. His name is Martin Gonzalez. And he threw a body in the house and set it on fire, kidnapped me, trying to take Pink's resources. And yes, I know what I'm going to do. Is that he's been threatening Amanda and JJ recently. Just He has access to everything of mine, my bank accounts, my vehicles, all of it. And... I, he kidnapped me, I managed to escape. He knows I'm alive, but if he sees me, he'll probably try to kill me because right now I'm a loose end on him. Uh, but the reason I haven't gone to police about this is if I do, he claims he has evidence that I killed the person that was in my house. Which I didn't, but I, don't, I haven't seen his evidence and I'm too afraid to, like, I don't know how I can counter it. Alright, so when did this all happen? Uh, while you were on vacation, so a couple weeks ago it started. Whenever oh, Amanda yeah, was on vacation, a, a as rough well. date. Or a time when we actually. It would be April twentieth. All right. Do you know what time it was that this all happened? I, that you were that maybe. your uh, father had taken you. I believe it was sometime in the evening, probably 8 or 9 o'clock. Because he showed okay. up at my door, and he proposed, you know, for me to work for him to, like, basically uh, siphon money from the pinks to him and our, myself, like, as a criminal kind of thing. And I told him I wouldn't do it, and I was going to turn around and get my phone and call Amanda about it. And he put a rag over my face, and I passed out, and I woke up in the back of a van. All right. Do you know where he, he took you? No, not offhand. I can't remember. Like any I know that I I believe we were at a gas station like and I that? broke out of it. Because we live in Polito. Um, we were at near the gas station over off of uh, Route 13, the one that's halfway between Polito and uh, Grapeseed. And okay. I managed to like kind of come to. So I don't know how long he kept. I don't know what time it was, but I basically got out of the van and ran off into the woods. Right. And it was the night I decided to try to go home, and my house was already on fire. So I just ran. And do you know who this person was that was inside your house? No, I don't. Okay, but for so some reason, the idea. autop, the OC me claimed it's me. So I don't know what's going on there. So I'll have to do some digging in on that to to see what evidence they had to uh, think that it was actually you because um, I haven't had any details on that do you know why he would have done this Be is it because Money? you wouldn't work for him yeah like I don't know if he was going to like try to slave labor me or something like that I really don't know his exact motives but at this point now like he just he feels like he'd be a dangerous person and I don't want to get around that you know All right. Has he asked you for any money recently? He hasn't seen me. He's asked me two separate two per, two separate occasions, and JJ has the evidence. Um, I was wearing a recording device, and um, anyway, so 
JJ was parked in a vehicle down the road and she was able to hear everything and record it. So we can give you that. He was asking me to give him a million dollars and we'd call it all even because he's trying to scoop up Pink's assets and stuff like that to basically assume control over whatever Aaron um, controlled with uh, in the Pink's, what she had ownership of. Um, and then I said, no, that's not going to happen. He's like, well, how much is your car? I was like, about $1.3 million. And he said, well, why don't you just give me that and we'll call it even. I said, no, this is going to be dealt with in the court system. But I'm fucking sick and tired of this shit, Dan, and you guys need to fix this or I'm going to fucking do something. You know I'm going to put forth all my, uh, my I know. and all my possible resources that I'm going to be able to use on something like this. Um, because obviously something like this, we don't want to be able to get out that we're, uh, we're currently investigating it. Um, yeah. even further than it already is to uh so he doesn't run off or anything like that um so i don't want to go flagging him at all um i'm trying to arrange a meeting with him today all right so i'm just kind of caught off guard with all this i wasn't expecting this because especially just coming off vacation not having much information on it all yeah i get it um so there should have been a report was filed with assets he was trying to Officer Keith and Officer Kyle. Okay. Sorry, say it again. Yeah, I heard, I heard something about them. They came over and you guys had something going over at the uh, the other Pink's house over by the airfield. Yeah, that's our office over there, that blue building back there. Someone broke in and stole our computer. Yep. Okay. Really? Yep. It looked a lot like your dad. Oh. What the fuck? Alright, so I'll have to see if they... Cause I'm sure that there's... Even if I was to go through right now, the, the, the chances of me being able to find any sufficient evidence on it um, by now was probably most likely not going to happen. Um, do they end up checking uh, security cameras? Yeah, all that evidence was collected. I think, I think I mentioned hearing Officer Keith talk about something about a, a warrant being pushed or something. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll look into that and see what the warrant was pushed for. Let me and just pull it up. Let me just check. And it was Martin Gonzalez? Yeah. Yeah, his name is Martin okay. Gonzalez. Do you know where he lives? Vice City. In Liberty City. Liberty City, sorry. Right. There's a, a purple charger out front. Okay. I think he's walked through the door. Alright, can we come back here, please? You two? In this room right here? It's imperative that she's not seen. I'll be back. Hello? Hey, it's Bo Cooper. Bo Cooper Jr.? Yes, ma'am. What can I help you with? I, uh, I uh, just wanted to ask. We cut a few cows this morning. You guys, uh, you guys wanted to meet? I'm kind of busy at the moment. If you could, uh, just give us an email, give Amanda an email, and we'll get back to you. Alrighty, I'm sorry about that. No, I'm just I, a bunch just, of I live right over on. there. Sorry. No, you're good. Alright, have a good day, guys. Okay. Thank you, JJ. Okay, apologies, guys. Do you think you guys could, like, catch him in a lie or anything? Maybe piss him off, get him to admit it? Is that even a thing? Like, am I watching... Let's go movies? back to the front room. Has he tried asking for any money in the past or anything like that? From me personally? Yeah, or from the pinks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just recently. Until he kidnapped me. 
Alright. And has he been doing any, like, uh, before this all occurred, did he do anything suspicious leading up, like, looking for any information on the pinks or any of their assets? Well, he seems to have quite the portfolio of whatever Aaron owns. And is very well versed in all the equipment and all that stuff that's assigned to her name. So I'd imagine there would be no other way to know that information unless you had someone look it up for you. Alright, did he have access to your property over at the, uh, the other building? I don't know. He had a key know. that was on, uh, apparently it was on Aaron when he kidnapped you. Yep, that's right. Yeah, he took my keys. He kept asking me for the... All my vehicles except the brocade. Yeah, he keeps wanting to give... Wants me to keep giving him the keys to the brocade. He's mentioned it a couple times face to face. I said that's... I don't have the keys, so there's nothing I can do about that. And I guess it was heavily damaged in the fire or some shit. So, I mean... Fuck, I don't know. Did he have permissions oh. to enter that building? No, he did not. No. All right. At any point in time, did he have permissions to? No, sir. No. I was going to the store to get some snacks, some food, and some groceries, but forgot the list got list on the table and came back, um, and found him inside near the computer. I didn't. Normally, it would take me about twenty minutes to do the run, but I was only gone for about three or four before coming back. So I don't think he expects me to be there. Alright, so everything you just told me, uh, Aaron, I'm going to go ahead and just type that up in the statement. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, uh, j I'm just going to have to find control card, type that all up, I'll bring it back in. I'm just going to need you to sign it, uh, just for okay. further uh, everything. If you guys want to go ahead and gather that recording, just so I can have that, um, I'll have to go, I'll have to review that and everything. Um, when was he planning on meeting up with you again? I would like to try to meet. I was trying to, like, I want to talk to you guys first, obviously. <sighs> that meet up with him sometime today. I don't know if that's a reality or not, but. So let me just go ahead and get this all typed up, uh, and then I'll have uh, Aaron overview it and sign it um, so then I can have sufficient grounds to be able to start on um, looking into charges for them. Okay. All right. So I'll be right back in with you guys if you guys want to get that recording. Dan. Okay. Dan. Yeah. Time is of the essence here because the longer this takes, the worse it's going to get. Erin has been living on the run for the past two weeks, afraid for her life. I have been being terrorized by this son of a bitch. I've been involving countless right. legal teams. Uh, Amanda, yeah. Amanda, take a deep, take a deep breath. All right. Listen. I'm really fucking you know, fucked I, up right now. I, I need you to just get uh, this shit resolved, please. I know. You, Amanda, you know I'm gonna do everything I can in my power I know. To, to, to do this. Keep it on the down low. All right. We have been. And not to raise a whole bunch of attention, so he's not suspicious of anything. All right. That's gonna be the main goal, because we have to obviously catch him. Okay. Right? Yeah. So just sit tight for me, get that recording, all right? Hey, get a glass okay. of water, grab something to eat. I'll be back in a minute, all right? Thank you. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Can you drive me over to my trailer? Yeah, Aaron, are you going to be okay in here? Just please stay inside. I'll be fine. I can just borrow your keys. Okay. Yeah, here. Take them. Which one is it for this car? Uh, it's the... You don't need to insert the key. You just have to have it on you. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. It's push to start right, as well. Right back. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do anything stupid, Aaron. Then don't.
Please don't do anything stupid, okay? Fighting it. Man, I hope we can catch him. I hope he's bluffing. I really hope he doesn't have any evidence on me. I don't know how, how could he? Get it. You didn't do anything. There's no way he could have evidence on you because you didn't do anything. That's what I'm like. That's don't what allow I'm him to make you think that you're guilty when you didn't do a goddamn thing. That's just him fucking, like, trying to intimidate you. He's an asshole. Yeah, you can come on in, Dan. So, everything I, I just typed up real quick, everything that you had just told me in person, alright? So this is just for having everything on paper, you sign it, I'm just going to read through it. Um, it's pretty much everything you just told me. Um, so, it's just confirming everything, so with you signing, it's confirming is what you said. Alright. Hey. Thanks. Right. Yeah. Um, we're going to get through it, all right? I know. Hey, you have to stay strong for Aaron. I know. All right. Once we get this all sorted out, you guys will go back to do the normal thing you guys do. All right. It's going to yeah. take a little bit. So uh, once I get that recording, I'm going to listen to the recording. And I'll overview it. And then we'll have you set something up for uh, with... Martin, um, so then we can get that meet set up. So okay. for when we ha have do the meet, I don't want any surprises. Um, I'm going to have uh, one of my guys. Um, I work pretty close with him. He's going to come out. He's, I'm going to have him assist me um, just in case things decide to go sideways. Okay. With him. Sounds good. But Aaron, you, can clear you did clearly identify that it was your father that did do this to you. I, yeah, I can, I think, what do you mean? So you definitely know that it was your father that did it to you. I know it was a man who says he's my father. And he's told me multiple times, too. Personally. When I first met him, sorry, Aaron, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I said, Dan, when I, when I first met him, that's when I got home from my trip, and Aaron and I's houses are right next to each other up in Polito. And he pulled up at the house. I walked over to ask him if there's something I could help him with. And he said that he was there just to kind of assess the damage to the house and um, everything that he was taking ownership of as a result of the loss of his daughter. Um, had paperwork, all that stuff. Pretty came across pretty legit. So the the only issue we're having, I mean, unless we have something that clearly shows him showing that he did abduct you, I mean, that's. Do I, you still have the clothes I mean, from my... that day? Yeah, I do. Actually, I got I something in my back pocket right here. Are they here in this uh, house right now? No, they're in the trunk of my car. Where's your car at? Right outside, it's the black Cadillac. Okay. Alright, while well, you guys finish gathering up the recording everything, I mean, if you want to come outside with me, if you can unlock the car and everything, just so we can grab, grab, grab those clothes. Yeah, yep. here's um, the keys. Thanks. Do you know if he touched you on the shoulder or arm or anywhere that would have been on the clothes? He, he, he kind of wrapped his arm around me from the front, so maybe he would have grabbed the front of my shirt and then he put a, a chloroform over my face. All right, so we'll go ahead and get those clothes. Um, I'm going to stop down at the uh, forensics office. I'm going to have them uh, expedite put it, pushing this through because um, we obviously can't have you going through here um i mean while that's all getting done i mean i can have 
um, the officer that's going to assist me with, with the meetup if everything comes back matching positive uh, for his identification if they're able to pick up with any hairs or anything like that. Okay. Um, I can have him come sit down here in the area in an unmarked patrol car and sit on the house. I mean, unless you're more comfortable with no presence at all. I mean, that's why I moved my car behind just in case he happens to drive by. That'd be fine. And then, Dan, I don't know if you want to look at my phone here, but I did take a photo of his face. Uh, and even on the recording that I did, uh, that you'll have access to, um, I did say at the beginning that I was recording it. I just kind of threw that into the wording at the beginning of our conversation. Um, and then he also hinted, you'll notice this on the recording as well, that his, that his daughter is still around. So, I mean, you'll pick it up if you hear it. So, will you come over here and take a look at this? This is the individual. This is his face. There you go. So that's that's him. Um, I also recorded his voice as well, and then you'll hear it in the recording of what he's talking to me about a few days ago. All right, do you guys have, so how do you have that um, saved right now with the recording? It's on an SD card. Yeah. Okay. Do you have that SD card here? Yes. Okay, I'm going to... This that. meeting took place at the boathouse a couple, like, I'd say like three, four nights ago. Um, it was kind of late. I mean, it was getting dark, uh, but we had a, a pretty lengthy conversation there. To which point you'll hear that he tried to yeah. tell me to give him, a, like, if I gave him a million dollars, he would just let it all go. Or if I gave him my car, my adder, um, he would just let it all go. To which point I said no on both. And that if, if he, in fact, has the documentation that he says that he has to acquire all of Erin's fucking assets according to the will that she apparently had that she didn't have, then it would all be, you know, discussed uh, through the court system legally. Yeah, because, I mean, something that that aspect with, when it comes to assets and everything, obviously she's not uh, deceased. She, I see nope. her right now. <laughs> um, but, so, I mean, when it comes down to it, that's going to come to a civil side. Um, that's nothing that I'm going to be able to deal with. Um, so it's going to be civilly filed charges. Um, I mean, I can provide all the evidence. Uh, I mean, if you guys have what evidence you guys had, um, I can make a duplicate of the uh, recording. Um, for this, I'm going to need the original copy so I can put it on and I can duplicate it and I can uh, give you guys back a, another SD card with it on it. Um, just, I mean, for the ex extent of the charges that are going to be tied with the um, abduction, if we're able to tie everything together, um, then the, they're definitely going to want, the judge is going to want the originals. JJ, that was the original, right? Whatever you need. Well, it's, it was a copy I made. The original still on the camera. Can we get that for him, please? To grab the original? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'll go get the original. Um, okay. Can I have that copy back then? Let him hold on to it until you exchange it. Oh, you got your right. uh, I mean, if you guys can hold on to the copy, just for your guys' the civil side of everything, all aspects. Okay. Right, and right. if you just want to come out with me, Amanda, we can grab the clothes out of the trunk. Okay, no problem. I'll be right back. JJ, go get it, please. Yep. Just a second. Did you think there's anything on your ring doorbell? Give it a shot. Upload it I to don't the, know. Upload it to the cloud. I don't have that phone. It should be in the cloud. Well, just log you in. Your, yeah, but you'd have the account information still, right? Yeah, it's uh, Aaron G at pinks dot com. Um, huh. the <laughs> password is. Okay, don't laugh. It's a man I mean, just... JJ. Nineteen eighty. <laughs> 1997? Yeah. Amanda just, JJ uh, here, 1997. Use this, use this office computer right here and just plug this in that back in. Amanda JJ 1997. 
I was hoping you'd do it at, like away from here in case he's tracking that. Well. I mean, you'd have to have some big box to be able to intercept a something like this. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can find out, okay? Just do an incognito tab. Okay, that works. <laughs> Fucking by playing chaos over here in Blake County. Are you done in here? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So I got that. As soon as we get this okay. recording, I'll sort it out. I awesome. Will get, I'll run this down right to forensics, and I'm going to have them test it. I can't thank you enough, Dan. Don't worry. We'll get it all sorted out. I know. No, it's rough right now, but it'll all come out. The truth always comes out. I just feel so bad for her because she's done so much to, like, get her life to where it's at now and for someone to step in and just completely beat it with a baseball bat I just I don't know I know I can only imagine especially when people just are doing nothing but good I, I don't I just don't understand I, hey, I, I hey. never will come in hey yeah hold on come inside found something yeah what's up Okay, JJ, JJ reminded me I have a ring doorbell. Oh, you know, with the cameras? Yeah? Look at this. This is fascinating. Look. Okay. If you look right here, this is the footage of when he rang the doorbell on the, that night. And this is him right here. Look. That's the same guy. But here's the thing. It cuts off and, like, you don't see anything interesting until, look at this. This is me struggling. I kicked the doorbell. Holy shit. He's, I'm being dragged out of the house. You can't see his face, but this is me being Oh kidnapped. my god. That's definitely you. Oh my god. Oh, Aaron. It's not long enough to, like, get a face or anything, but... That means... That means I, I couldn't have killed the person in my house. This is my alibi. Thank god. There was lots of There's screaming and yelling. What happened? Watch this video. I rewind it. Me kicking the doorbell. Look. If you see the first part, this is him at the door getting my attention, and then like literally like ten minutes later, this is me kicking the doorbell and like I'm struggling because he's got a thing over my face. God damn. Whose fucking idea was that to look that up? JJ's. Did this not get investigated? Like I. Seems like that would have been looked at. Well, no, by the responding officers when this fire happened. I, I don't get it. It may have been just a hunk of plastic burnt to the ground, though. Fair. They wouldn't have known. Is this on the cloud? You said. Yeah, it's saved on the cloud, so it it shouldn't be deleted for at least a year. Oh, beautiful, Dan. All can right, you so take that too, I mean, or? Yeah, I I can take that. Is there any markings that you see that match? Um, from the guy on that video to uh, Martin when you met with him? Uh, like, I mean, the first part's him literally right there. The second video of me struggling, I don't see much. Except his arm. Are you able to rewind that? I just want to see if it's the same clothes in the beginning when he knocks and rings on the doorbell than when he uh, is walking out with you. I just want to make sure he has the same build and everything like that. Uh, 
Um, oh, oh shit! Look, when he when he pushed the button, he's wearing a watch on his left arm. And that's the same watch right there in front of me. Okay. He's wearing it looks a watch. Like he's, he's a little darker skinned. Bright, bright hair it looks. It's very, it's hard to tell, but it looks like gray hair to me. I mean, me. the first, yeah, but you can't really see it. Hey, too well, you said this. But that's definitely the same fucking watch. Never mind, that wouldn't work. What? No, no, no. Try it. Just, no, because uh, he shut up after the fire when it was decimated, so it wouldn't have recorded him a second time, like when I first met him. Did you I think the camera... notice that watch on his wrist? I don't honestly remember a watch on him, but I wasn't really looking or paying much attention to what he realistically looked like because I just found out my best friend died. I'm sorry. All right. So let me just, you're good. Don't worry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab another USB so we can, out of my car, so we can just go ahead and throw that on it. Okay. Oh, God. Thank you so much for remembering I'm and looking that up. The best thing I ever bought. Fuck yeah. So mandate for all pinks, ring doorbells on all doors going forward. Hell yeah. I'll buy them all for everybody once I get my account back. Yeah. That wasn't oh. That got, uh, Aaron. Fucking Jessica Whore. Yeah. Whatever the hell her name was. Here's a card. Horn. I got that for you. It's got a, uh, it's got about thirty six thousand dollars on it. Goddamn. <laughs> what? That way you can you can ac have access to money while you need it for food, gas, clothes, um, being able to lay low, it whatever. Be over soon. I hope so, but just I in case. How much money you can go to Europe for like a week? Well, I'm gonna. It's still gonna take a little work to get my account back. And I also rented, Aaron, that yacht off the coast of Polito Bay that you're more than welcome to stay on until this is resolved, if that's okay with Dan. Alright, so if you want to go ahead and just, uh, <laughs> if you want to plug this in your computer and you just want to transfer the files over to the USB. Alright. Dan, do you think we have a good case here? Uh, everything's starting to look like it, so um, I will have 100% evidence as long as the uh, forensics turns back with uh, some type of evidence. All right, got it. On okay. Clothing of with his DNA. There you go. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna run this over right now. Did you uh, want that officer sitting outside? Uh, that would be fine. Aaron, are you good with hanging here, or did you need to get back to wherever you need to go? I could hide out in here until you guys figure out what you're doing. Okay. I missed you guys. I haven't seen you. That's fine. That's great. Dan, do you think this is going to take a long time? It shouldn't take too long. Let me get him over okay. here and I can run the past. All right. All right. Turn on one or two. Hey, hey, you, I'm burning it. Bring a DVD of the break. Maybe right over to 1920, 1920, okay. Trail Lane, and Grapeseed. Alright, so I have the officer heading over here. It's going to be Officer Roscoe. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. It'd be good to see him again. Who the hell uses I'm DVDs? DVD. <laughs> You're crazy. It's it's what Group Six wants, so they can have hard copies. Okay. Hi Dan. Hi Dan. Oh lordy, two grown men. <sighs> Thank you so much, Dan. No problem. I gotta get changed. JJ, is that some blood on your pants? My pants? 
Oh. Let me see. What's up? I don't know, it just looked like there was uh that JJ had some blood on his pants. Or her pants, sorry about that. My apologies, JJ. Alright, I'll chill out here outside. Alright, I'm just gonna go over a few more things in the car. Um I'll be back okay. here until the other officer gets here. Alright? You got it. Thanks a lot, man. No problem, I'll be in contact with you. Okay. Right, so we can as soon as I get sufficient uh, I get response to that evidence. Then I will uh, be in contact with you, see if you can set us in up with Martin. Okay, thank you. I'm willing and raring to go. Let's do this. All right. I know you're uh, with just retiring and everything from law enforcement. You still have your concealed you carry? Absolutely. So, if you want to uh, find a jacket, once I get in com contact back with you, um, as long as everything comes co back with that test, uh, I can give you a, uh, a vest that, that'll go underneath your shirt. Okay. So you have something on. That'd be great. Things happen to go sideways. Yeah, I don't really want to get shot again. Be safe. Oh, I will. All right. So I'll be, I'll, I'm going to wait outside for him to get here. Then I'll be in contact with you. All right. Yep. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it a lot, Dan. Thank you. No problem. You know what's why I'm here. I do. I knew I could fucking count on him. God damn. Even if my dad has evidence now, like, I have at least a good court case. Alright. You feel better now? I feel a little better, yeah. I just have to so keep wondering where the fuck my dad came from. Why, he came from a bad know, place, why Aaron. I'm contacting now. I, what happened to my mom? I, Oh, he's doing things to your car. Uh, what happened? Are you okay, Amanda? You calm down now? Yeah, I'm good. You don't, you don't want to do that anymore? No, I'm... Well, for now, we're good. Cause... Good, I good. Know. I just, like, would like to know. Why did I have to live alone my whole life if I had a father? Why do you have to be a dick? Because he didn't have the right one, sweetie. That's all. Unfortunately. It sucks. It really sucks. Yeah. I mean, if he really is your dad, and we can get him, how the uh, neighbors are out again with the tannerite. Yeah, gotta love it. I need a fucking cigarette so bad. <laughs> can we smoke inside? Because yeah. I really don't want to go outside. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I need to go outside. I gotta make a phone call. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. I'm gonna smoke in here, fuck it. I'm sick of wearing sunglasses so. inside, too. You're not... Hey, JJ. You're JJ. This is... <laughs> Sorry. This is crazy. Aaron? Yeah. It's gonna sound a little weird and maybe insensitive, but... Do you actually think he's your real dad? Oh! I don't know. I got a pink cast though. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe, Maybe I'll sign it. Losses. Can I sign <laughs> it, Rachel? Or Aaron? Sure. You're never fucking Rachel. Uh, 
Are you sure? I think I make a cute Rachel. You're making even better, Aaron. Yeah. Best yeah. Man. Fucking stop with the tannery. Like Matt lives next door or something. So we were talking, um... God, there's so I many... I don't think that Martin's her actual dad. I guarantee he is. Is as in positive or negative? He is. I would be highly suspect if he's not. Well, Aaron was telling me that she, from what she was told when she was a kid, because she was at an orphanage, is that her mom and dad had already died. Yeah, her right dad gave up custody like of, three or four years old. of her, isn't that right? Yeah, so like, what I remember is that my mom died in childbirth, and then my dad gave me up, but then they told me my dad died when I was two. Okay. Look, let's not speculate. Let's let the officers do their jobs, and then we'll get it sorted out. I just pray to God I can meet this motherfucker and drain him for all of his information. Maybe even get him worked up a little bit so that he's more reluctant or more uh, <laughs> able to give it freely. You know what I mean? Okay, so you said you're meeting him today. Sorry for interrupting him. I'm very, 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 very sorry. I'm going to try. So this is going to be a little, little sketch, but... Uh... Talk to Dan about it and find out if uh, you could try to get, like him to spit on you or something. Or spit like like go go for coffee and like steal his cup or something. Then we can get a DNA sample so we can match his DNA against. I'm gonna do what DNA. needs to be done legally with their assistance and support getting it done. That's that's Amanda's nice way of saying shut up, JJ. I'm just yep. thinking out loud though. Hey, Roscoe. It's okay. You're right, very opinionated, so and that's what I like about you. you. Are you familiar with all that happened you. with Miss Aaron Gonzalez? Nope. Not a fucking clue. <laughs> so, apparently, um, her father, Martin Gonzalez, planted a body inside of her house while it burnt and somehow identified it. It's good to have them run through it real quick. Um, and I'll be right back over. Then we can set something up for uh, adding a warrant execution on him if, if we're not able to get him at that location because I do have sufficient of charges for abduction. Okay, so he's here now or not here? He's not here now. We don't know where he's currently. Miss Heron Gonzalez is inside. Okay, so you basically just need me to hang out with these ladies while you do... Yeah, well, I just run this over and just get everything. I'm going to switch over to an unmarked. Then we'll set up, sure. uh, see I, if we can get, a, get a meeting. I'll set up. All right. So I'll let you know. I'll be back over as soon as I get that, uh, get that tested. <laughs> All righty, so. boss. Sounds good. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, ma'am. How you been? How are you? It's uh, Amanda, right? Hey, <laughs> yep. Good to see you again. I like the new place. Yeah, we're we're definitely trying. So, but we got a lot of this little bit of drama and some some seriously serious shit that we're really gonna need your support with, man. You know I help where I can. Oh, I know. That's why I'm really glad you're here. Thank you. We're about to take down a ruthless piece of shit. So, I hope we have your full support, which I'm sure we do. Yeah, I mean, she's not not completely all right in the head, but if what Aaron just, or not Aaron, uh, Dan just told me is even halfway true, that would kind of explain why she's been a little off. Yep. So, there's been a lot going on, like, literally, Roscoe, she's been just kind of hiding out, fearful for her life for the last two fucking weeks. Um, while we've been trying to, like, work the legal angle, but it's taking a substantial amount of time. Unfortunately, and this dude is super shady. Um, 
It's just hasn't been awesome. Like he saged her fucking death and burned her house down with a body inside of her home. And then told her that he had evidence that would convict her of the crime, essentially, that, you know, <laughs> she didn't do. I'm not getting it. What are, what, what are they getting out of all this? Her financial benefits, uh, her assets in the pinks, uh, her vehicles, uh, any money that she had left over, you know, that she had in her accounts. Both of her accounts got closed out um, or she doesn't have access to them. Uh, she was chloroformed and abducted by somebody. We're assuming her father. We're unsure. Um, but And then stuffed in a van and she was able to get out and get away. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there they go again. Oh, yep. Hold on. I'll be right with you, man. Yeah, no problem. Hey, what's up, boss? Hey, how's it going? Where are we at with these explosions? <laughs> um, so best I can tell is I came up here to meet up with Dan, and as I was driving up, I just heard a couple, but the more I, st the more I stand here, they sound like they're over towards that windmill behind each other <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so Dan needs me to stay here just for like a uh, chain of custody evidence type thing. So I just needed somebody to get up here and just hell's going on. Yeah, alright. Want me to roll back I mean, that way, see what I see? Yeah, you might just go over, cruise through the farms there. If you wanted to pull another person, you can. I just no, I had moved. to see what was going on yep. here, and then I got here. Figured and, we can uh, communicate. You know, Dan's got me basically locked on what now? post, so. Figured yeah, we I mean, can if you communicate. Want to bring in other resources, feel free yeah, to. True. But I didn't see nothing. Are you good? What's setting him up today? Like, I've heard probably about six of them now. Yeah, I'm ready to set him up. Okay. All right, well, I'll roll I didn't want to there, force that on you, so I figured I'd ask. No, actually, I like it. Okay. I like to get back to a little more. Normalcy. I'm gonna be safe. Ready I'll to wrap up here. what I got going on in my head. Oh, all righty, boss. Getting getting Aaron's boots broke by JJ. Hey, who let the cows out? Oh, hello. How you doing there? All right. Yeah, his name's Emperor. He's kind of the main bull around here. He just walks the property and does whatever the fuck he wants. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, as long as he doesn't try to do whatever the fuck he wants on me, I'm good. Yeah, no kidding. He's pretty he's pretty docile, so. Unless you're a female cow, and then it's a different story. Or a male cow, for that matter. Well, uh, yeah, I, I won't go there. But definitely yeah. not a cow. Hey, JJ. Yeah? What's the life expectancy for biplane pilots in Blaine County? <laughs> Uh, about 25 well, minutes than seconds or two at least <laughs> fair <laughs> uh, jesus christ so I, I think the neighbors up yonder at the vanderlin or the the farm over there on o'neill way it likes to shoot off the tannerite once in a while oh <laughs> dang you got some good hearing you heard me all the way in there well you talk about it well i assume you're talking about explosions right we yeah. hearing them too. Okay, yeah, it's just like as I'm coming up, it sounded like World War Three. Yep, yep, there goes another one. Yeah, it's really fucking loud. Oh, Lord. Interesting. Tannerite, huh? I've had some fun with that stuff. Uh, that's dangerous. Pretty crazy shit. Um, can we get you some water or anything, Roscoe? Oh, no, ma'am. I appreciate it, but, uh, you know, my nasty habit. I got me a fresh dip of Copenhagen going, so oh. I do appreciate it, though. I might take you up on that before I head out. Yeah, we also have some, and I know you're on duty, but some Tito's tequila if you're thirsty. Hey, now you're talking my language. I figured. A friend of mine likes that Tito's tequila, and I'm like, wait a minute. Tito's tequila? No, it's Tito's vodka. He's like, no, no, no. Check this out, man. I got effort up on Tito's tequila. Like, That's okay, crazy. I'm going to have to go check this out. Yeah, I'd never heard of it until recently, like, you know, a month ago or so. And I was like, oh, my God, this shit's so good. Like, great idea, Tito's. <laughs> Stabbing myself. Yeah, that's Fuck. that's crazy for sure. Yeah. So let me ask you this. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Oh, 
Klondike bars, all kinds of things. I love me some ice cream. Hell yeah. <sighs> Can I be vulnerable with you for a second? Yeah, I, I guess. I won't tell no one because you know old uh, Deputy Commissioner Dillon might get all upset, but oh, yeah, you can, yeah. you can tell me anything you want. Who's he? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> literally right. was literally was going to take the law into my own hands earlier. I just want to get that off my chest. Oh, come on now. You don't... Don't do that. You got way too much to lose. I mean, the, yeah. the, the good that your company does and that your people do, man, if you're to, to do something like that and, you know, the DA had to come with charges, just think of it, you know, it's not just you that it takes down. It's right. everybody that you support and lead that, that goes down. So, I mean, that's a friendly piece of advice. That's where I would leave it at. That's where I'm going to leave it at. JJ, you good? Yeah. Okay. What are you guys doing? Just trying to have you guys flirting with each other? Well, maybe one-sided. Yeah, okay. Interesting. You guys are weird. But it's cute. <laughs> hey, it is 2019. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, it is. It's been 2019 for them, let me tell you. Fuck, damn. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. Boss, here we come. <laughs> So, I mean, we're definitely, you know, we're, we're going to do this right, treat this right. You got a good investigator and a lieutenant, Dan. God dang. You got a good uh, good investigator and lieutenant, Dan. So I, I just ask that you let us take care of this the right way. And don't, don't jeopardize what you've built here. Yeah, I'm completely, completely agreeing with you. That's not going to be an issue. I just, like I said, I wanted to clear that off my chest. Enough. I appreciate that. Hey, if y'all you, uh, don't mind, um, I'm going to just have a seat in my car, soak up some of this air conditioning. and uh, Yeah, no problem. Just work on a little bit of paperwork, and then, uh, you know, once Dan gets back, we'll, we'll get everything squared away and figure okay. out what the hell is going on next. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Roscoe. Yeah, no worries. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be right here. Yep, right back at you, man. I'm gonna do a little jog, I'll be right back. Okay. Enjoy your spread. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I needed that. Oh, man. Whew. Sorry, I had to go burn some energy. Did you burn that motherfucker to the ground? JJ, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Burn what? I don't know. You said you burned energy. I asked if you burned that motherfucker to the ground. Oh, there's plenty more. But... About my house. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Phew. No, I'm not good. <laughs> you guys are dumb. You guys are dumb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trying to do the wave with guns. Dude, I'm telling you, these fucking pilots are nuts, especially when it's so foggy out. Like, if he doesn't die, I'm going to be totally surprised.
Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Oh, looks like he's okay. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, nope. That last tree got him. No, his buddy's like following the same path. That's not gonna be good. It's like freaking lemmings. Hey, let's all yeah. fly in the same path. Oh, oh, yep. there he goes. Oh Damn. shit. Oh, that's not good. I didn't hear him explode, so that's good. So how's that run? Ah, oh, good. I got some energy burned off, so feeling pretty good. Blood's pumping, lungs are pumping, heart's pumping, doing doing okay. Yeah. Yo, can't complain about that. You could, but it wouldn't make a fucking difference. True. Now let me see where ice cream's at and see what's going on. Okay, sorry to keep you here so long. Ah, it's not a problem. It's going to be so good if we're able to get this son of a bitch. So I had asked him if he would like to meet up again, and maybe even today, and I believe I'd have to check, but I believe his response was yeah. So it shouldn't be too hard drawing him out and getting him to just be a dumbass. I don't know, though. Hey, we'll find out for sure. I mean, uh, LT's almost back, so. Okay. Guess awesome. Figure that. There goes another one. There's another one. Hey, we're gonna have to call Safa and uh gonna have to call Sa Oh Safa Damn. get that flight path shut down. Or yeah. <sighs> oh, that's supposed to be him. Hey, you guys got some nice fucking cars. Hey you no know, drug seizure here, drug seizure there. Hell yeah. Hey, Dan. Hey. All right, so we're good. We got everything that matches. We're going to have sufficient evidence. Beautiful. Okay, if you want to try some, setting something up with him. Okay. Um, what are you thinking, Roscoe? You think the Marina Bow House will be fine? Yeah, that ought to work, man. I mean, you call it, we'll support it. Yeah, I think we, if we, if I get it. Park up the road, and we can. If you want to roll in in your charger, I can roll. Uh, I can, I'll park down the road and hide behind the building. If you want to just park down the road, and I'll give you the execution word. Um, we also do have Cole, he's hanging around the Sandy Shores area right now. Okay, uh, it's gonna be low key, or are we plan on a code five approach? Um, I want to get him away from the vehicle as far as possible to prevent him running. Okay, fair enough. Hey, so I just sent him a message uh, asking him if he could meet me at the boathouse for another meeting over in Sandy, and then I would like to discuss the options that he gave with me earlier. Um, so I'll just wait to get a response back. Hopefully it won't take too long. He's usually pretty responsive. Right. I'm going to grab my vest out of the trunk I grabbed you. Okay. Uh, let's, I guess let's do this. Hey, uh, damn. Hey, I'm gonna run over and grab yeah. some gas real quick. Oh, guys, he just messaged me back and said, yeah, I can, he'll be there in five minutes. Alright. Here's your vest. Oh, thank you so much. So I'll just, if you could just, I don't know if you have another shirt. Yeah, I'll go not, put on uh, some. Then you can just throw I'm going to change real quick. So you can't tell. All right. Thank you. Good. We'll see you there. Oh, Dan. Yep. Do you have tinted windows? I do. Okay, just please be careful. Yeah, I, I'll be behind the building, all right? Okay. Try to get him away, uh, away from the vehicle. All right, yeah. I'll be watching you. All right. Thank you.
All right. This is what's up. We're meeting him. Aaron, do me a big solid, sweetie. Don't stay here. Go to where you normally would go, and we'll find you later. I'll message you when this is done. Okay? Just keep a low head. Love you, girl. I was going to say she could just sit in the back seat of the tinted SUV and watch from a distance. No, I don't want her there. I don't want her anywhere around that. Because what if he's got more than just him? You know what I mean? But I got to change and get over there. Alright, I'm going to drive off. Good luck, guys. I love you both. Love you, too. Thanks. Me, too. Well, Can you see my, my vest? My leg's still bum. Are you able to see uh, the vest I'm wearing? No, raise your hands up your head. Okay. Raise your hands. Am I good? No, you're... I mean, all I can see is your navel, but it's like... Okay. Can, if you really reach up high, you can probably see it. So just jump up, just okay. jump up high. All right. Uh, are you driving over there? back to my place and get something okay i'll see you over there just do me a favor jj just in case shit goes down don't be there with me please promise me i i can't because i want to be there to protect you okay i'll meet you there then you actually meet me and ryan over to my trailer So, uh, this thing flies? Yeah, it's super fast. Yeah, I was on the asphalt earlier, and I made it up to 70, but I didn't really realize it. Yeah, it's super quick. Alright, check right, check left, clear. Okay, I'll see you over there, girl. I'll be over. Okay, don't take long. Side of the parking lot. <laughs> I know. Okay. I'm just gonna guess you didn't see me over there. Yeah, I didn't. Hey, thanks for meeting with me so soon. No problem. So what do we got discussed? Um, honestly, man, I <laughs> I was just kind of thinking and whatnot. Um, can you just, can you just walk with me just a little bit? Just, I need to walk. I apologize. I've just been cooped up in an office and I haven't really had a chance to exercise. Are, are you able to just, just take a walk with me? Just stroll with me and have a conversation away from here where we kind of had a bad intervention meeting thing last time. You yeah, sure thing. No problem. Okay. Let's just walk this way then. We can come to a consensus. Yeah, no problem. Um, so I was just, I was just thinking about you know what you would talk to me you you wanted me to um pay you a million or give you the keys to my adder which is valued at 1.3 million right and you said yeah, you'd make this go away i just <sighs> you know I've, I've thought a lot about that honestly and i <sighs> Are you really... I just... Can I ask you something? Are you really Aaron's father? Yes, I am. Yes. Like, you're not shitting me, right? Like, you really are? Why would I shit you? I'm just curious because, I mean, she doesn't even really know you. And it's really concerning. Stop! Put your hands up. Oh, shit.
they're they're uh, they're swarming me right now in the operation, so it should Dude. be over soon. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Ten four. Um, I just crashed down, so my party's gonna be on hold for a second. Copy that. Perfect Keith. timing. No worries. The fuck is this about? Hey, that's that black SUV that was down in that alley. From us. Right, right that there. black SUV is JJ. She's fine. She's oh, fine. She's oh, fine. Hold on. Hold on. She's good. What the fuck is she doing? What is all this about? You you honestly no, don't know? In a minute. I'm not aware. I have not done anything wrong. Yep, they got him. I don't know if it's over, but they definitely got him. Okay. Alright. Get this car out of here, because they were totally suspicious at it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that you were good. Will you do me a favor and text um, Aaron and let her know that her dad is um, in custody for DPS? Okay. Thanks, girl. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for the help. No problem. Thank you very much. Anytime, ma'am. Fuck. Sure. Hey, Dan. Mr. Gonzalez. Yep. Just so you're aware, I hired a private investigator. Um, the company's name is Dawson and Woods out of Liberty City. Um, they finally got back to me, and there Lovely. is no Martin Aaron Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And that's actually no. not her father. And has no idea who she oh. is. Her father and mother are both deceased. Her father is Jose Gonzalez. And her father is a Jose uh, Gonzalez. Uh, can I email this to you? Yeah, if you want to go ahead and sit there. Very okay. necessary for a panic button. So what's your last name, sir? Gonzalez. I am uh, Aaron's yeah. father. I don't know what this bitch is talking about. Jose Gonzalez and her mother is Don Gonzalez. Anyway, what was that? Do you go by another name by chance? Fine, whatever. My name is, my name is, my name is Martin Morales. Well, you are aware that. You Falsely impersonating another person is a law, uh, a criminal infraction, correct? Oh, I don't fucking care. I should give the cop something new down. Alright, so can you go ahead and elaborate a little more on what happened earlier in the day before you found out about your Miss Aaron Gonzalez? <laughs> I don't know. I looked up information. I've been studying the pinks. They made a lot of money. And uh, I, I just wanted to do what I could. Unless you wanted, I wanted to a piece of that. Them. So I figured Aaron was the easiest target. See, she's alone. She doesn't know who right. her parents are. Can you go ahead and elaborate what hat why you were at Miss Gonzalez's house earlier in the day? Imitating her as her father. All right. What happened after that? I left. Where did you go? I went. I went away, and then I guess she uh, perished in her home. Completely un 
unrelated to myself. Are you sure about that? Pretty damn sure, yes. Did you leave that the residence by yourself? Yes. Hey, Lieutenant. Yeah. We've uh, we've got some photos from the vehicle of Aaron, JJ, and Amanda. Um, there's a bloody hammer and machete in there if you want to get the blood tested on those. All right. Those aren't mine. I don't know where those came from. They were in the car when I got it. All the right. photos came so, with the rental car. I guess right. so. Was there photos? Like <laughs> I'll leave it up to you, Dan. All right. Thank you. And, no, it was just the three females. All right. Thank you, Cole. So. Let's try this again. What happened after you uh, apparently left the house while Miss Gonzalez was still in the house? I left the house and I went to my hotel room. Well, let's try that again. What happened when you were leaving the house? You calling me a liar? Yep. I'm not, I'm not calling you a liar, but you I'm shut not up. saying you're telling the truth. You're going to snuff me out as well? I didn't snuff you out. Not yet. Uh, I'm not going to snuff you I'm out. sorry, Dan. Amanda, just let me do my job. So let's try this again. What happened at the house when you were leaving? She was uncooperative, bitch. Fine, is that okay. what you want? And what did she you, wouldn't help me. What, what happened? At, what, led, like, what was said? What happened after that? She's not here, is she? Who's here? Aaron. Aaron's dead. If she's here, let me speak to her directly. She's not dead. Aaron, you know she's not dead. Aaron's dead, and that's why you are currently bringing up on charges for homicide. Please. <laughs> I didn't homicide nobody. Aaron homicided somebody, why and did she's you trying to frame me for it. I didn't kill Miss Gonzalez. I had a f thought for it, and, and I caught her in the act of killing someone. All right, so let's try this again. Why did you kill Miss Gonzalez? I didn't kill Miss Gonzalez. Try this again. Why did you kill Miss Gonzalez? I didn't kill her. She fucking escaped. Escaped from what? Fine. Will it help if I give honesty? That's all. That, this won't do help you out at all. For me to even put, try to put in a good word for you. Was it, I mean, you have to be honest. Does anyone want to play just a private security guard? At Hold on. We're field? still on a scene. Oh, never mind. I kidnapped her. Yes. I took her away. Apologies. She escaped from me. No worries. The person in the yeah. house Other than this, is someone yeah. who yeah. Yeah. is an I'm enemy of... Right uh, now. Uh, yeah, it's been delayed before I'd be over there. I'll come right now. All right. Uh, Joseph, I can do it right now. If you what want. happened after she escaped from you? Yeah, sure. I couldn't find her. I couldn't show up back up unless I did find her, or showed up with a shitload of money, or else I would kill me. All right. So, when Just you were leaving the house, did anything else to, uh, just out of character. Did you what do anything that? at the residence? Did you do anything at the house? I burned the house down. Okay. Did you take anything from the house or put anything inside the house? The body of the woman. Who's Lots the woman? The a woman that is, uh, is an enemy of the uh, Liberty City Mafia. All right, so what were those weapons in the back of your car used for? I am... Um... Honesty helps, yes? I can get a plea deal? No, I will... Uh, that has nothing to do with me, but I put a good word in with the judge. I was hired by the Liberty City Mafia. I killed her. I removed her hands, smashed her face. All 
right? So it looked very much like this? Aaron Gonzalez that I could potentially swap her out. All right. So what is this uh, will that you had in place? There's no will. So everything you did was false. I have I have a lawyer who does gorgeous things for me. You right, also paid off the OCME. Okay. Okay. I will not give you my lawyer's information. I will not tell you. So you're willing to go down this road solo? If I tell you all the information other than the Liberty City Mafia, I will be killed in prison. And I'd rather survive in prison, honestly. No. Well, the amount of charges that are lined up, I mean, I don't know how soon you think you'd be getting out. Probably never at this point. Personally, I would appreciate that. All right, so who ordered the hit? I can't tell you. I mean, are you looking for it me to put a good word in for you? It wasn't personal hits from anyone higher than me. It was my own plan to bring in money so that I could be promoted within the Mafia. Alrighty, so tight for me. If you don't know where she is, Aaron Gonzalez is alive. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, my apologies. I'm sorry. I'll just sit back here and shut my mouth. Yeah, I know your place. Oh, I do. Don't worry about Excuse that. Me? Slightly. You need to control your woman. Uh, excuse me? You need to control your woman. Yeah, well, good luck. Don't want you my good word with the judge. I'll make sure I'll let those uh, the fellow inmates know for what you're going in for. Wow. I'm just going to sit back here and know my place. You missed me. Nice try, though. Hello. Hi, yo. Hey, knock, knock. Yeah, what? No, knock, knock. I'm not playing fucking games with you. Come on, it'll be funny. You could use the laugh. Knock, knock. Who is there? <laughs> not you, because your ass is in Bolingbroke for the rest of your life. Wow. If I ever get that, I'll be sure to kill you. Yeah, I bet. You can try. I think I could succeed. I, yeah. Well, good luck. Or maybe I'll kill Aaron or JJ. Actually, murder them for once. So now you're threatening the lives oh, of three like people. Bad people you care about. Kill Interesting. You care about. You got family, yeah. Why would you kill anybody I care about? No, no, because you're a pretentious bitch. How am I pretentious? Explain that one to me, it's since you're so knowledgeable about who I am. 
and what I'm about. Mm -hmm. Pink cars, pink supercars. Think you're all that. Driving at her around a $1.3 million vehicle. Yes, thank you for your observation. And yes, I do have a tremendous amount of wealth. However, you and I are nowhere near alike. Sure. But you continue we to be... People, we, we both don't help people. You don't help people. You don't even know anything about me. You think you do, but you have no idea. You got a tremendous amount of wealth, but Priority people still got hungry, huh? Copy. What was that? You have a tremendous amount of wealth, huh? And yet people still go to bed hungry? You're not you're not fulfilling shit. Again, you don't know what you're talking about, and it's very apparent. You're, growing, you're playing on a farm with your tits out. <laughs> yep. That's exactly it. You're so good at what you do. It's almost mesmerizing that you got yourself into this position. I don't care anymore. If anything, it's freedom I get away from the fucking mafia. They're probably thankful. You don't know anything about me. Oh, you'd be surprised. You're not as sneaky as you think. Hmm. And just so you're aware, since we're on the subject of taking people's lives, if I ever Did catch you, you, you guys anywhere near... Any yeah, of my properties fields. or friends? Oil fields? Just, yeah. Sounds just expect to be way. downrange. I'll make it quick. Oh, you're threatening me now. No, I'm telling you, if you come stalking or doing any of the shit that you have been doing, stealing our stuff on our property, trespassing, you'll get what's coming. I'd hate to have to do that, but to defend myself and my friends and my family and my loved ones and the people that we do our services for, then it is what it is. Alrighty, Martin. Since yeah. I don't feel comfortable with you removing you from the cops, once you get into the facility, they're going to head and fingerprint you, and your paperwork will be signed in court. Fine. So today, but, your first charge is going to be 15 unlawful imprisonment. It's going to be a misdemeanor in the first degree. Three months in jail with a $1,000 fine. C10 murder. It's going to be a life felony, life in prison, which is a $15,000 fine. F4, falsely reporting incident. It's going to be a misdemeanor in the first degree. It's going to be two months in jail. A one thousand dollar fine. FM three arson. It's going to be a felony in the third degree. It's going to be three months in jail with a five thousand dollar fine. You don't have to understand all these charges. These charges will be brought up in court with all the sufficient evidence that I have regarding the case. I just want to come back here. Yeah, I hope you have the same kind of life that you've she, bestowed she to others. By the name, or, well, my apologies. He goes by the name Big Dev. He'll help you get stripped down, change over clothes, and do the cavity search for you. <laughs> Shut up. Whatever. Fuck you. Toodles. So have a good one, sir. Thanks for handling that, man. Yeah, you were very quick and efficient as well, and I can't thank you enough. I can't wait to let Aaron know that she can come back out. Hope it's a stressful day before you know. Hell yeah. What? Life sentence for murder? All right, well, that'll do it. We uh, were able to get Aaron Gonzalez all squared away and the perpetrator uh, removed from her life so she can get back to living her, uh, living her life and being a pink and taking care of all those responsibilities, so... Not too bad. And we'll uh, we'll end this video here. This is uh, Civ Kelly, aka Amanda Rifle, signing off. We'll see you next time. Peace out.